Well, it's Saturday, and it's time for storm spotter training. It is March, what, 29th? No, 25th, 26th, something like that. And uh, it's spring, right? Well, there's snow everywhere. Not sticking to the ground, but it's still snowing. Anyway, we're going to go in and get our storm spotter training update done. Let me tell you what the program is going to be. I'm Ronald Davis, the owner of GMV, and we'll talk more about that later. Um, Brian's going to lead off with the spotting training. It should go for about an hour plus. How far, Brian? About an hour and 35. An hour and 35. Just put your watches. When he gets done, Kim Dooley, whom you've all met, is going to tell us what's going to happen this year. He's going to give a forecast. So that should be worth a few laughs. <laughs> Here in a blizzard, what can you say? And follow me, I've got a little thing on procedures and flying points and whatever. So pay attention. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Brian is KZQXF. And I think everyone in here has yeah, some words about that one also. So here's Brian, Brian Smith from the Weather Service. And pay attention. Because a lot of times, uh, thunder tornadoes are 
a, a very, fairly rare animal and you have to get the right ingredients together at the right time or wrong ingredients, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, and so it varies, and it's hard to tell. Some years or get a real good pattern from here, uh, where you have some tornadoes. Years you had, like two years ago, we had 38 in 2008, and then last year we only had four. So it jumps around quite a bit. Uh, what? No, Valley's Northeast. David City? Yeah, maybe David City. Columbus, maybe? Um, this storm to the northwest. Here is the main upgrant where the big tower is. Kind of cylindrical looking. Has kind of colorful like texture. And then you'll have this anvil that's up on top. The air goes up into the storm and then fans out on top and creates what's called an anvil. And then you have this bubble of cloud that sits on top of the anvil, which we call the overshooting top, because the updraft is so tremendously strong. Sometimes the updraft speed can be 60, 70 miles an hour or greater. There's an interesting story, I've told this before, I'm not sure if I've told it here or not, but there was a researcher back in the 70s that used to take a Cessna aircraft and shoot rockets and try to shoot them into tornadoes. And he stopped doing that after he got caught in a supercell updraft. And the aircraft started getting pulled up tail first into the updraft. <laughs> Luckily, he was able to, they were able to power out of the updraft and get out of there, but that scared the living you-know-what out of me. <laughs> so here's the up, updraft region, <coughs> looking at this diagram here, the supercell, looking kind of towards the northwest here in this diagram. The updraft is in red. You have the air going in, warm air inflow going in, and then it spirals upward into the supercell. And right underneath that is where the tornado would be, where the strongest updraft is. And then you see it fan out on top where the anvil is. The anvil is blown off to one side usually by the strong upper level winds that are well over 100 miles an hour, maybe 100 to 200 miles an hour. <coughs> and then you have the downdraft here associated with the rain and hail. It's indicated by the blue arrow here coming down with the rain and hail on the north and east side of the storm. Display or precipitation intensity display of the radar, which we call reflectivity. And you look at this cell and you see this storm and you see this big blob of red and orange. Where it's the darker red, a little bit of white in here, that's where the heaviest precipitation is taking place. Especially in a little bit of white here is probably hail. This is the main downdraft region of the storm on the north and east side of the storm. The main updraft is in this region here, where this, this notch is taking place. And the air is rotating upward in this region here. That also forces some of this precipitation to wrap around its backside here and form this foot. So this is the hook echo, as it's seen on the radar. And the tornado forms at the tip of the hook down here. So starting out, we're going to look southwest here, the video here, this is the hook. And you'll see a multiple vortex tornado is more than one funnel rotating around each other. <laughs> Just south of Wakita, Oklahoma, 340. These storms are moving very fast, 50 miles an hour.
moving so fast. Display the velocity couplet right here in tenths. Couplet right there. close to these tor to tornadoes or the wall clouds because on the south side of that, or on the south side of the hook, a lot of times you'll get a downdraft which we call the rear flank downdraft and that's what he's experiencing here with straight line winds coming at you from behind. 